Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sorful here, and like I said, today we are going to be having a little discussion about the upcoming updates to both GMS and KMS. I can't really say for sure uh, about EMS and Maple C, but um, t usually and typically they usually get the same um, same updates that both KMS and GMS receive. So you guys should uh, feel safe to look forward to these things as well. And um, EMS I think even get some of these earlier or if they don't like you know already have some of them um, but yeah so first I figured we'd start it off with a video <clears throat> actually first off let me say that uh, the big patch that's coming to GMS is called MapleStory Unleashed which is also known as KMS's unlimited patch so yes it's pretty much the same thing um, and so I figured we started off with a video that the Maple Story official Maple Story YouTube channel uploaded. It's a little preview of the patch to come, so here we go. As you guys could see, it's a pretty action-packed video. It's a pretty exciting video as well, and they did a pretty good job at showing some of the content that's to come in the Unleashed update. Let's go ahead and exit that now because we've seen that. But basically, there's you know we got level cap raised to 250. Uh, we have new training spots for level 200 plus. We have a revamped. It looks like uh, Scarlion and whole fantasy theme park revamp. We have, um, you know, Twilight Perion, which is basically future Perion, like the future Henesis and future um, Erev. So, you know, we have a lot of high-level content coming for that level 200 to 250 push. Um, as far as I'm concerned, though, getting to level 250 is probably, like, the hardest thing there is to do in MapleStory. So, yeah, it should be, you know, something for those um, veteran people to look forward to, those people that love leveling and that love the hard challenge. Um, just letting you guys know, I'm not one of them. I'm probably going to get to level 201 and then <laughs> call it a day. But, um, <clears throat> so that's the video. Now we're going to, I'm on the official MapleStory uh, web page here. As you can see, they changed the background to both a Demon Avenger on the left side and you got Xenon on the right side. And let's go ahead and take a look at what they say for a sneak peek. Now they just say pretty much, uh, you know, summer's coming with a, f uh, a lot of updates, unleashed update, um, in less than a week. And this was posted three days ago. So that's that. Just a little teaser. And then we have the full up unleashed update highlights. <clears throat> but before you, I want to before I click that, let's go ahead and click this right here, Maple Story Unleashed, because it shows you some of the content you know that's to come and it shows you the specific dates. So this is the video that we just watched. Uh, it says coming on June nineteenth. So so this is coming um, in three days from the time I upload this video, most likely. So it says level two hundred fifty is finally here. So you know that's a uh, and they have a bunch of pictures of, you know, level two, people above level 200, stuff like that. And um, it also has level three link skills, which is pretty intense. But the thing that really, really sucks is to get the level three link skill, you have to be level 210 on your character. So that's, that's not something you'll see a lot of because getting to level 200 alone is still a challenge for, you know, most of the people out there. And getting to level 210 on a link skill mule, 
I don't think it's going to happen. I think it's only going to happen if a person um, mains the Link skill character, such as me maining a Demon Slayer, you know? I might make it to level 210 because he's my main, not necessarily only for the Link skill. So, you know, you're not really going to see people with level 3 Link skills. <clears throat> Um, like I said, they got the new high-level content. Um, you're going to need much tougher opponents to showcase all that newfound power, and entire new areas of Maple World have opened up just to satisfy your level 250 lifestyle. Journey to Twilight Perion, a new monster park zone, two new themed dungeons, and, a, and the revamped Malaysia and Singapore regions to flex your leveling muscles and punch some level 250 size holes in anything that takes notice. So, you know, they got some good stuff coming. They even have the Alien Visitor, for those of you guys that remember this event. I loved it, personally. It was when I was playing my Mr. Cupid Arrow, my Bowmaster. It was uh, it was even before I hit fourth job on him, before Big Bang, I believe. And so, you know, this, this PQ was really fun, and you were able to get the Time Traveler Medal, which gave 10 weapon attack and is permanent. And you also got VIP weapons from here. So, you know, let's hope they, they bring that stuff back because that's what I really loved about it. And it was also a very fun PQ to do with your friends. So, <clears throat> next we have revamped interface. Now, this one, I'm not too happy with the interface because look at it. Look at the bottom. I'm not, I'm not, I'll be honest, I'm not happy with that. But, um, you know, hopefully I get used to it because look at, look at the HP and MP bars. They just look, they, they look like very poorly done work to me. And let's take notice of how much HP this guy has. 237,000 HP. And he's a level 250 Kaiser. And 163,000 MP. So you can see that MapleStory is really, really uh, doing what they always done with their game, which is, you know, have those huge numbers in there. Like, <clears throat> like other games such as RuneScape, you know, you only do like 100 if you're really good. You do like 115. I don't know if it changed since then because I, I used to play way back. Um, and you do like 30s, 60s in RuneScape, and in MapleStory, you know, you have the super high damages, you have 999,000, you have the past 1 million caps, and now we're going to see a 50 mil cap. So, you know, MapleStory is extending their numbers to no limit, um, and yeah, that's just, you know, the UI for that. And then you have the equipment inventory, the item inventory. I really don't like it as well. It looks it looks complicated, but of course it's going to look like that because we never got to try it out yet. So it looks really complicated, and I don't really like how it looks. It looks it looks too different for me. You know what I mean? Like I still want to be able to tell that I'm playing Maple Story. You know, this looks like a whole different kind of game, uh, minus the background and stuff. Next is a picture of your your character how he would look if you double click him this is the character UI um, again I really dislike it I do kinda like how they show your character in the middle however but other than that I don't I don't like it too much although it's not that bad but you know we'll see <clears throat> and then we have the skill inventory um, one thing that I'll point off a point out right off the bat is uh, you can now add as many skill points as you want to a skill. You no longer have to click one by one. You can add seven if you want. You can add a whole 20. And this is really, really helpful for those uh, skill resets, the skill point resets, because now it won't take you 30 minutes to assign your skills with that slow one by one clicking, and sometimes it doesn't even work. So, you know, this is definitely a lot better, but I don't like the overall UI. You know, it doesn't, doesn't, I don't feel comfortable with it. I don't feel like I really don't feel like it's um I don't know it doesn't it doesn't feel comfortable to me it doesn't feel right it feels like they changed it too much I really liked how they had a single skill uh in a single file going down and now they have it like this looking like the Evan or dual blade uh skill inventory so you know <clears throat> I'm not a fan of it but I'm pretty sure most people will be but that's just my opinion uh, next we have the world map UI that changed we have up here you know you can see some changes up here you can, uh, star usually means favorite right so I'm pretty sure you can favorite some maps favorite some hunting grounds and uh, yeah you know just a little change to the world map not bad because you know they kept the same UI so I'm not I'm not mad about this one <clears throat> and then it's back to the UI of the Kaiser uh, and basically you could move your chat bar wherever you want it which I think is 
weird. I just think it's weird. I don't have anything to say about that. So that's it for that. And next we have coming on July 3rd. We have Xenon coming out before Demon Avenger. It just says uh, a little uh, story-ish kind of thing about Xenon. Shows you a nice picture of him. Um, he has a really awesome Link skill. Let's go ahead and check out some pictures of Xenon. Uh, some pretty flashy skills, indefinitely. Um, they look pretty, pretty uh, fun to play, I guess. But um, I'm not too excited for Xenon, I'll be honest, or Demon Avenger, so I'm not really excited for this patch overall. Um, in regards to the classes coming out, but you know, I'm definitely gonna make both of them. We got the uh, different Aqua Road going on. So you know, Xenon just looks, you know, <clears throat> looks pretty overpowered from videos that I've seen of KMS Xenons, but he doesn't look too fun in my opinion. Next we have the Demon Avenger. I really love how the class looks, however I do not like how the skills, um, it's not that I don't like the skills, it's just I like demons, I keep comparing it to Demon Slayer and I just really like Demon Slayer a lot more than Demon Avenger. But these are some pictures of Demon Avengers. Um, <clears throat> one thing I want you guys to really uh, notice in these videos is the HP amounts of a, Z a Demon Avenger. 170,000 HP. 170,000 HP. And I know they use HP to use their skills, but still, 170,000? Like, that means they should never, ever, ever die. Like, unless they get... Like, even Damage Reflect can't kill them. Only 1-1, one, one, I guess. But I don't know. 170k HP. Um, and uh, Demon Avengers do get funded with uh, percent HP or HP equips. So you don't need no stats. It should be a lot easier to fund because, you know, Chaos Zakam Helm gives 10% HP. Uh, Rex Airings give 10% HP. Uh, Chaos Horntail Pending gives 10% HP. So that's 30% of your main stat already. You know, and the link skills, you could get like 20% HP from link skills alone. So that's 50% of your main stat right off the bat. So, you know, it's pretty, pretty um, easy to fund for the most part. And we got some pretty cool looking skills. I love the dark skills kind of stuff like Demon Slayer. But again, I just like Demon Slayer more. Uh, but I, I, can, I won't judge it until I actually play the class. So that's Demon Avenger and that's coming July 24th. So we have July 3rd, July 24th, and then we have this one coming in a few days, June 19th. Um, <clears throat> so now that that's out of the way. We could actually look at some in-depth patch notes, uh, which are posted on the official um, Nexon site for MapleStory. Basically, you know, this tells you a lot more about the upcoming patch. So basically, we have increased max level, max damage, max HP, and max mesos. Um, as we all know, the level cap is going from 200 to 250. Uh, we have the maximum damage cap going from 1 mil to 50 mil. That's just an absurd jump. Uh, really, really crazy. And we have the health health cap going from 100k to 500k. 500k is a really, really huge number. I don't know if they plan for people to actually achieve 500k health. The only class that would possibly, possibly be able to do it is Demon Avenger. Um, and I'll tell you how. They, they could, you could just be a really funded Demon Avenger, which will bring you up to like 350k HP. And then what would be absolutely absurd on a Demon Avenger is decent hyperbody. So get a warrior pants with decent hyperbody, and your Demon Avenger will be as funded as hell, because that'll give you like 30% HP or something. So yeah, you, yeah. Decent hyper body is definitely going to play a big role for uh, Demon Avenger. And as well, the miso cap increases to, I think it was 20 bill per character. So I really love that because now it's less transferring for me. And you can make trades a lot safer now. You don't need to make trades um, and have collateral unless you're buying an item over 20 bill. So that's really, really awesome and I really love that. <clears throat> Uh, they just got a picture here of Twilight Perion, I believe. And then we have the level 3 Link Skills. 
Um, several characters will now several characters' link skills will now go up to level three when they reach level two hundred and ten, which is just ridiculous. Uh, this includes link skills for Cannoneers, Mercedes, Phantom, Luminous, the Demon Slayer, Mihail, Kaiser, and Angelic Buster. So I'm not gonna have any th level three link skills because that's just too hard, and I don't have that kind of time to get a bunch of characters to level 210. Uh, I hope they lower it in the future to at least level 160, because that'll make more sense. But we'll see. <coughs> we have Journey to Twilight Pyrion, a new area in the Gate of the F Gate to the Future, which is located in Temple of Time. For those of you guys that don't know, um, monsters range from level 190 to 200. In addition to regular maps with swollen stumps, pillaging boars and sinister masks there are four party play maps filled with ancient golems for you and your friends to battle so we're gonna have some party play in there uh, that gives you 50 percent more exp per person in your party so that's really really good and you could also solo train here if you if you please now something i did want to take into account is that <coughs> the exp here is really really good uh... as you can see in the video that we watched i forgot to point it out um, you can see some of the EXP that they get training at Twilight Perion alone. It's like 110k EXP for per kill, like, and you're soloing. Like, that's just amazing because they do die relatively quickly. So it's not like, you know, LHC monsters where it's a lot of HP, but they do die relatively quickly. So it's just amazing amounts of EXP. But again, we're going to need it to get to level 201, 202, and so on and so forth. So next we have the Spirit Valley, which is a... Uh, Monster Park Dungeon, open for characters level 200 to 209, and monsters also range from level 201 to 209. So we got some new Monster Park coming in there for the higher levels, and we have the Aqua Twisted Road, I mean Twisted Aqua Road, um, uh, that I don't know how to really locate it or anything, it doesn't say it's a Monster Park uh, thingy, so it's not Monster Park related, but it's just a new area for levels 200 to 210, which is really, really awesome. We have the alien visitor coming back, which is the party quest um, and visitor enemies are level 209. So this is some more high level content. And we have fantasy theme world completely revamped. Um, it says it's in Ludibrium, which is a lot different than uh, Malaysia, so I'm not sure what they mean by that. Um, you get a new medal for your character, and monsters are now level 125 to 140. So, you know, a little more higher uh, level than before. <coughs> you have a new PQ for level 60 to 90. You know, it's always nice to help those lower levels uh, level up faster. And then we got the user user interface uh, change up. Something I really, really like, which I did mention in my last video that was annoying me, was the monster life button at the side. They finally decided to take it out once your farm is level 2. So it's basically forcing people to play in their farm until level 2 so that way the button is removed from the screen so we have more of that uh, beautiful background to ourselves. So that's really really good and let's go ahead and skim through this. New page of system allows. Yeah, potential. So you, know, no, you no longer need magnify glasses to reveal your items. <coughs> you no longer need magnifying glasses. Um, you could also combine a bunch of different scrolls to create random new scrolls, which I guess is is okay to... The um, thing I don't get though is because like, if it, it gives you a completely random scroll, what you could do, and this is an early tip, if it if it's even viable or possible, the person could just go to those NPCs that sell 100% scrolls, buy a bunch of them for like 20k each, and then fuse them to get like chaos scrolls and like glove for attack scrolls. But I'm not sure if that'll work, so we'll have to see. But if it does work, they're going to have to change that up because it's going to be too easy of a way to make misos. So, yeah. <coughs> um, we have Malaysia and Singapore revamped. Quests and monsters have been added, have better gameplay flow. New quests involving Captain Latanica and Crexel have been added, which allow you to obtain the new Ghost Ship Exorcist badge and the new Crexel Cauldron. Which maps, blah blah blah, and Malaysia now range from level 131 to 150. 
and level 145 to 170. So a lot more higher uh, gameplay, liar, a lot of higher uh, level of content. That's really good. Mysterio monsters uh, now are level 100 to 120. Uh, spe special Victoria Island bosses. You guys know the Marabas hat, the Valfour hat, all those level like 20 hats that give you like 12 of uh, 12 of your main stat. Yeah, you can fight those bosses now at any level, and you can do the quest line at any level now. So yeah, that's really helpful for people that can't really afford or yeah can't really afford uh, to get a Zakam helmet. So that's really good for those people. Back from hiatus, this is something I'm really, really uh, excited for, being a guild owner and all, um, is sharing in guild party quests. They finally brought back guild PQ. Um, I'm really stoked for this because I have, a, I have a big growing guild right now, and I have a crazy alliance. So we, sh we should probably you know get a lot of these done, get some in, and hopefully you'll see Blacklist as one of the top guilds in YMCK server alliance. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that because that brings the the whole guild as a community together, and it brings a lot of guilds closer. And you know, it's really nice. It, it's really a community kind of thing. So I, I really like that. You guys have to work together and stuff. All right, and now the Tempest shops are back. Ex well, the Tempest people, which is Spark and um, what's her name, Gale. Spark and Gale are back, but it's called the Unleash Shop now, so I'm pretty sure your Tempest Coins will not work if you do have some left over. Those, I'm pretty sure, are gone. And now you're going to have to get Unleashed Coins. So, you know, they do have an event shop coming back. And then, of course, they say more to make you, you know, come back on June 19th. So those are all the updates, you know, update highlights. Uh, as you can see, some very exciting content coming, especially for those in the higher levels which is, you know, such as myself and a lot of you guys out there. So, you know, um, I, I do want to know what you guys are most excited for. For me, personally, it's going to have to be... It's going to have to be the new damage cap. Because as a funded player, I'm usually limited by that 1 mil damage cap. So I'm really looking forward to that new damage cap. I want to see who's the strongest now. Although I'm pretty sure it's still proxied, but, <laughs> you know, other than him. I want to see who the strongest is now, and I want to see, you know, people hit, like, 40 mil damage. Like, how crazy would that be? Like, will people start hitting 1 mil with their auto attack, like, they're with their their basic attack skill, uh, their basic attack key? I want to see people hit 1 mil with their basic attack. That's just crazy. And so, you know, I'm really looking forward to the damage cap and um, level 250. Because I want to see, I want to see how people do and how people level up, and I want to see how hard it is, and uh, compared to before Big Bang. So now that that said, we could go ahead and look at some KMS updates. All right, so now I'm on Orange Mushrooms blog. I'm sure a lot of you guys know this guy. His name is Max. He makes phenomenal updates uh, that are you know happening currently in KMS or KMST which is their Tespia their test servers and he he really goes in depth and I really really like how he words things he you know he always gets his updates up uh, you know quickly and all this stuff so you know we're gonna take a look at some of the updates coming to KMS um, so I'll start here basically we've all been waiting for it we've all been anticipating it and we've all been wanting it for the longest time the adventurers update it's called the red update where adventures get uh revamped and actually uh put ahead of a lot of classes which is definitely needed for adventurers right now and uh it's been needed for a long time so it's called the red update i'm sure you guys have seen it everywhere on the internet by now so i'm not going to do my whole bit on the red update but you know i definitely do have to bring it up the red stands for revolution evolution and uh I don't remember what the D stands for. Revolution, evolution, and probably, I don't know, destruction? I don't know, man. <laughs> so that's that's what red is. And basically, it's a three-piece um, update coming to KMS and will eventually come to GMS and other Maple Stories. But um, the first one to get revamped is the Dark Knight. Dark Knight has got some huge, huge revamps that are absolutely phenomenal. Like, it's that 
it's that kind of update that'll make you so happy and so proud that you never deleted your Dark Knight and that you still have him there just in case. And uh, that 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 goes for me as well because as you guys seen from my character show and tell, I do have a Dragon Knight and he has a pretty cool IGN and he has a cool uh, story that I want to you know continue on him. So you know this update will definitely make me go back to my Dark Knight whether or not it's for a long time or short. So, you know, Dark Knight's got a huge update. You guys could read it here. I'll leave a link to Orange Mushroom's blog in the description below of the video. So you guys can click that. Check it out. Check it out, uh, like, on a by, by daily basis. So check it out every other day because he does upload things as soon as they happen in KMS. So, you know, props to Max. Um, keep doing a great job. And let's go ahead and take a look at some more. We got the Ice Lightning Mage getting some awesome revamps as well. Oh boy, do I want to continue my Ice Lightning Mage so badly. Um, you're probably going to see a lot of uh, different classes uh, coming out from Sorrowful. You're going to see a lot of different characters being played for me once these updates start coming because... Um, you know, it's what I've been waiting for for some of these classes. Like my Ice Lightning Mage... I think about playing it every single day, literally, and I just don't because, you know, it's this, I know what it is, I know what the Ice Lightning Mage is about, there's nothing new to it yet, and so this patch will definitely bring it, uh, as you can see this cool skill right here, You just it's a key down skill, you hold this skill and it'll freeze monsters in front of you, awesome animations, Maple Story is really, really ramping up their their animations and their, their um, in-depth skill uh, quality like even though maple story is a 2d game they freaking make it look like a 5d game like it's insane that's why i keep playing maple story people say how could you spend so much money on a 2d game well you have to play the game to see how i could spend so much money on this damn game because it's freaking amazing the graphics are awesome and you don't need a super high-tech computer to play it so you know maple story is an awesome game um Clicking this, it goes in-depth about the Warrior and Mage updates. But again, you guys can see that on your own. Uh, the, description, uh, the link would be in the description below. Uh, we do have the Red update. And then we have the Bowman, the Archer reorganization. So there, uh, after the Warrior and Mages, they got the Bowman. Um, I'm, I'll be honest, my Bowmaster has always been one of my favorites because it's been my first ever character in Maple Story. It's been my first ever level 120, and I made it all before Big Bang. So, you know, my Bowmaster is always, always, you know, one of my favorites, and no matter what happens. But uh, this update coming to Bowmasters, it really, really doesn't make them look like a Bowmaster anymore. It really makes them look like a cross between... Mercedes and the revamped Wind Archer. So you know, I'm not, I'm not that excited to be honest for the Bowmaster revamp. But something that I really like about KMS, like I really, really want to give them props for this because um, Battle Mages did get a, receive a reorganization, right? And for those who get, for those of you guys that know it and seen it, how bad was it? Be honest. In my opinion, it was as bad as it gets. Like they took away the whole Battle Mage and brought some rock some rock malphite class like it was horrible and i just felt i honestly felt so so sorry for those battle mages out there that actually main a battle mage because that's just ridiculous to go and change the entire class like that and it's just so bad and then obviously kms got a lot a lot a lot of complaints and so they reverted battle mages back to how they were before and they scrapped the whole thing of the battle mage reorganization they scrapped it all so they did all that work for nothing and you know it really takes a lot of you know it really shows how much they really care about what the players think so, you know, I really like how they did that. Even though they put so much hard work and dedication into revamping the Battle Mage, they scrapped it all because that's what the players said. So, that was really awesome of them. I hope that they don't do some of the changes that they have planned to Bowmasters because... I don't even know, like... It's just bad, in my opinion, man. It's just really, really bad. It's really sad to see Bowmaster go in that direction. Uh, they took away Puppet, like, I know they say it doesn't fit Bowmaster style anymore, but 
Puppet's there. Puppet was always your best friend alongside with your Phoenix or your Silver Hawk. And they even took away Silver Hawk and Golden Eagle. Like, so, you know, a lot of huge changes, but not necessarily good ones. So, I really hope they, you know, dim it down a bit for the Bowman. Because I'm not liking the direction of it. And next, I hope when you guys seen this, if you guys have, you guys thought of me because yes, I definitely seen this in the first minute that it was up. And once I seen Night Lord anything, I'm like, yes, they're finally not saving us for last. They are actually revamping Night Lords, and Night Lords are not forgotten about. Um, but I have to admit, I I do like the skill animation of this skill, this little preview skill, because look at it it's taunt basically the skill is replacing taunt uh from what we what we know so far so this skill right here is a night lord skill replacing taunt and i really like it it's just for me it looks a little too feminine it's a little too pinky uh purple mercedes feminine kind of fairy you know bunny looking stuff and to make it even look more feminine they have a female doing it a female night lord so I'm just going to say this right now. If Night Lords become a feminine looking Mercedes class, you can expect me to quit my Light Lord, my Night Lord for good. I'm not going to play a pink Night Lord. It's just no, I I won't do it. And I like the skill. I hope it's the only skill that has pink involved. And I I I hope I just I hope it doesn't continue in this direction basically I hope it doesn't continue into that uh, girly feel because night lords are not supposed to be girls the head of night lords is a guy dark lord and he's hanging upside down like a boss I don't want to see a fairy replacing him hanging you know on a tree beside some caterpillars with the rainbow shining in the background no that's not night lord so I hope they keep it dark uh, remove some of the pink and purple, and I hope they keep uh, keep doing a good job with the revamp, because you know as a replacement for taunt, the skill looks pretty awesome. So we'll see where Night Lord heads into, but yeah, I'm definitely definitely most excited for uh, the Night Lord patch coming to KMS. Next we have the job balancing. Um, this is about you know Battle Mage, Aaron, Mercedes, Evan, Kaiser, and Luminous. Those jobs get uh, a nice little balancing some nerfs some buffs so you know it's balancing um, and then we have the Corsair skill uh, pirates are last as always they always leave night lord I mean thieves in general and pirates for last it's nothing new but um yeah pirates have not been forgotten about and let's see if this works this is how the skill looks as soon as I seen the skill, it reminded me of Ziggs, for those of you guys that play League of Legends. And I really, really, really like the skill. Like, they did a great job with the animation. Look at the bombs. Look how defined it looks. Look at the ship. It's back. The ship is back. Uh, so we, I want to know what more of the ship we're going to see. And definitely, this looks like a fifth job skill, if not fourth job. So, yes, I said fifth job. The red update. Um, revealed fifth job as you guys will read in the in these blogs if you guys decide to check it out um, so yeah this skill looks really awesome I like it the most animation wise I like it the most out of some of the other skills that I've seen for other classes and I'm a big maple story junkie so I read on every single class whether or not I have it whether or not I play it I just want to see where all the other classes are at and what they're getting and I want to compare and contrast, you know. So I look at every single class. I read all the updates regarding every single class. And as we can see, like Maple Story is going to go through a lot of changes uh, this summer, both for KMS and GMS. And I'm just really excited to see everything that you know Maple Story has in store for us. I really want to see fifth job skills. I want to see more on this Night Lord revamp. I want to see more. That's like. And that's what they want, right? They they made these things so that we do want to see more, and so that we do keep coming back, and so that we do never give up on Maple Story. So that's some really exciting stuff for both GMS and KMS, and I'm sure other Maple Stories as well. 
now that we got, I'm sorry if this video is very lengthy, I just really wanted to have that little one-on-one -on -one discussion about some updates. Now that that's out of the way though, I do want to go back to one thing in GMS. Um, as we could see here, there's a world transfer event coming to MapleStory GMS on June 19th. The, the world transfer costs one MISO, so it's free. You could transfer your main character to any server that you want, excluding Scania, because Scania is full as a mother. So you could transfer to any world you want, excluding Scania, for free. Now, I'm, I'm not too happy being in YMCK. So, I'll admit, I am debating on transferring. I'm thinking about transferring either to Bera or Windia. So, you might see a, a transition for me there. Um, I might not even transfer my Night Lord. I might transfer maybe my Shadower. Uh, it really depends. It depends how things go. But I do want to test it out. I do want to transfer a character over because I never tried it before and I want to experience other servers so I might I might you might see a transfer but we're not sure so keep in mind guys if you guys want to transfer over to YMCK or if you guys want to go to you know a more populated server like uh, Windia um, you guys could go ahead purchase it for one miso but keep in mind you could only transfer 100 mil in pure misos however you could transfer as much items as your character could hold so you know the 100 mil miso thing isn't really a big problem so that being said you might see sorrowful transferring but nothing is finalized yet and I'll definitely keep you guys updated um, that's pretty much for the updates regarding MapleStory. Now for a tiny, tiny update about me and what's going on. Um, I might not be able to post much videos in the upcoming near future for a few reasons. One, because I'm graduating high school in a few days. So congratulations to me for graduating high school, getting it out of the way. Um, next is because... I'm not sure how much my apprenticeship, how much time my apprenticeship is going to be taking up um, because I'm going to apprenticeship for business. So I'm not sure how much time that's going to be taking up. I'm not sure if I could get my uh, regular three videos a week up. Um, so that's that. And then for summer, I don't think I'm going to be spending my summer at home like usual. As you guys know, I like to uh, spend the summer at my friend's house or um stuff like that so or go on vacation so um i might not be uploading videos for the duration of summer break which is starting in a few days for me and um right now i'm a bit stressed out because i have exams and you know marks are being finalized and i'm not the best student i'll be honest i'm not the dumbest kid in the world but I'm just very lazy when it comes to homework so my marks aren't exactly the best and exams are a big factor for me so yeah I'm kinda stressed out right now I got exams going on I got things in my personal life going on uh, regarding my relationship and um, graduating high school is a big step it's uh, obviously it's um, the once in a lifetime thing it's where you become an adult and I'm turning 18 in July so, you know, th it's a big step. It's uh, going from the adolescence to an actual um, adult, according to the law, you know, 18, adult. So, um, a lot on my plate right now. And I'm not really um, confident or comfortable with my next step uh, into, quote-unquote, the real world. So... Um, hopefully, you know, I can make, I can make things happen. I could, uh, keep going strong both with YouTube and with my outside life. And let's, let's hope that, you know, let's hope that everything goes smoothly. Um, I really hope my YouTube keeps growing. I do, 
I do compare myself with other uh, MapleStory YouTubers. I compare myself with a lot of other MapleStory YouTubers, and I'm just I have goals. I have so many goals when it comes to my YouTube channel. And I like setting goals because it makes me stride for more. And with the help of you guys, you know, hopefully we can make my goals and dreams come true. So right now I'm aiming for the 300, my 3,000 subscriber mark. I'm very, very close. But um, my ultimate goal, I feel like, is just getting like 10,000 subscribers. That would just be awesome. Like 10,000 subscribers would be amazing and I would love it. So, you know, and then I'll have a new goal when I when I finally eventually reach that. And so just let me know, you know, if there's anything in specific that you guys want to see regarding some updates. Uh, I definitely will be posting videos once the updates come. I'm going to have, like, you know, uh, Alien PQ up, you know, a bunch of different stuff, probably leveling up to 201. And, you know, so stick around. Uh, definitely plan to go far. I don't plan on shutting down anytime soon at all. Uh, I'll probably be 23, still making videos for you guys. Um, even though most of you guys will probably stop by then. But hopefully you guys can stick around for as long as you can. And uh, I hope I keep you guys intrigued in Maple Story because, um, yeah, that's 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 the whole plan, right? So yeah, I have a lot going on right now. Um, I apologize if you if you guys don't see my regular uploads. Um, if you guys have any questions, you know, leave comments. I one thing I want to point out is I don't reply to every comment like I used to anymore, and the reason is because a lot of them are the same comments, and it really gets frustrating when you have like 30 comments a day and 20 of them are the same thing, like what world do I play in? Like if you just click my channel just click my my channel and you'll see that I say uh, Cradia GM GMS so like you don't need to ask that question if you just click my channel you'll find out so many things if you actually watch some of my videos if you actually click my channel if you actually you know do some kind of research to some kind of extent as opposed to just asking the same question over and over so I don't really reply to every single comment anymore and I do apologize I know you guys really loved that about me, that I was really uh, connecting with you guys. I really answered every single comment, but as I said, I got a lot going on right now, and I can't really I can't really keep up with uh, answering the same questions over and over. It does add a little bit more stress to my play, and as you can tell right now, that's not exactly what I need. So um, I hope you guys can understand. I'm sure you will because you guys are awesome. And that's it, though, for this video, guys. That's all the updates that I want to talk about right now. We got some nice stuff going on right now in MapleStory. We got a lot coming, and it's very, very exciting. So, that being said, guys, this has been a short production. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I explained some stuff, and I hope I showed you guys some new stuff that you guys didn't know. And um, I hope you guys understand what's happening right now. So, thank you all for watching. This has been a short production, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.